Norton Electronic Solutions. Everything you need for precision automated fluid dispensing, conformal coating, plasma surface treatment, and selective soldering. Our passion is helping customers take their processes further, faster, with best-in-class technologies, dedicated global sales and support teams, and unmatched applications expertise. From the names you respect, Assam Tech Fluid Dispensing and Conformal Coating, March Plasma Treatment, and Select for Selective Soldering, we offer years of experience in advanced technology solutions for electronics manufacturing. Take your electronics assembly process further, faster. Hi, and welcome back to the third part of uh, Keith Bryan's show at uh, Apex Day 2. And uh, as always, I always like to try and save the best to last. So uh, uh, sitting beside me now, I have uh, Mike Conrad, uh, luminary of this parish. And uh, wow. obviously the, uh, uh, the uh, founder of Aqueous. And uh, we're going to start by asking Mike how he got on with his uh, course that he was running upstairs and uh, what, he, what he generally thinks of uh, how things are going. Well, Keith, I I'll tell you, the... the, the secret to a successful course or trade show or any kind of event is low expectations. And um, I knew how many people had signed up for the course ahead of time. Uh, and I was pleased with the number. Um, we lost three or four, you know, which is not surprising. In fact, it was surprising that it wasn't more. Um, but we had a, a nice turnout. Uh, it was a three hour course on a Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Uh, wow. on an otherwise beautiful sunny day outside. So there was lots of competition. Uh, but um, uh, people were there. I, when we had a break, I ducked into some other conference rooms uh, where other courses were going on, and they also had a decent amount of uh, attendance. And but I'm sure not as many as you. Well, in my head, yeah, in my head, oh, I had the best. I had the best attendance. Yeah, yeah, in the in the smartest group of people, and you know, the coolest people. But no, it was good. Um, you know, I've done this before, and and it's different. But in many ways, it was still the same. People need to learn. Uh, there's, there's a need to uh, sit in front of an instructor for a few hours and, and learn. And, and that doesn't go away even in a pandemic. You know, there's still challenges out there. There's still information that needs to be received and uh, challenges overcome. And, and uh, with or without a pandemic, uh, people that need to learn make an effort to come out and learn. So it was, it was good to see. And, and you think as it was an in-person gig rather than a, a virtual one, that actually helped as well? Yeah, you know, when I, in terms of technical papers, if you're doing a typical 25-minute technical paper, I think one can argue you can do that virtually and probably get about 80 or 90 percent of the value. Um, but in a three-hour professional development course, it's a three-hour conversation. It's not a three-hour presentation. It's a lot of exchange back and forth. And you'd lose a lot of that in a virtual format. Um, so I, I think the, the, the three-hour in-depth courses really benefit from live in-person because I can look at the crowd and I can tell, if, am I going over their head? Am I boring them? Am I going too low, too high, too shallow, whatever? Um, and I can adjust my cadence. I can, I, I can stop and <laughs> realize I've just lost people or, you know, you get the head nodding, you know, you have to turn up the volume a little bit. Um, you don't get any of that feedback in a virtual format. So uh, I, I think the, the professional development courses really uh, are meant to be live and that there's so much more benefit live versus virtual. If virtual is the only choice, then sure, yeah, do virtual. But um, I, I like doing these live. I really enjoy teaching the courses way over giving a paper because it's so hard, it's so frustrating to have so much to say and 25 minutes or 20 minutes to say it in. You know, I, I can't speak for 20 minutes as evidenced right now, right? <laughs> I'll just keep going. Um, so it's nice to have some latitude. It's nice to have a long runway to, to take off and land. And uh, it's hard to do in a shorter format. Yeah, I, I guess you're right because, you know, on, online it's, it, it, it just looks so easy. You know, you're sat there with your screen, but you don't have anything coming back. And I mean, even when I do you know, presentations or even shorter stuff than you do online. You don't get the questions. Right. Yeah. And if you do, they're, they're in writing and you can't really stop and read. And then, yeah, it's, it's, I like the, I always instruct or ask, request my audience, 
to please stop me. I do not want this to be a three hour lecture. This is not some university and yeah. I'm not behind a lectern. I, I hate lecterns. I like to stand in front. And uh, I, I really like to have a conversational um, courses uh, because me coming up with course material is a little bit of guesswork, but I really want to make sure that whatever, whatever knowledge I happen to have uh, can be received, not just stated, not just presented. It has to be received. And sometimes the only way to ensure it's received is to get feedback. And, and it usually takes, you know, you have that 10 minute stare down at first, you know, for someone who's brave enough to raise their hand. And then the next thing you know, they're all raising their hand. And then you wonder how you're going to get your course done in time. But it's a good problem to have. Yeah, the first one's difficult and then you get the avalanche. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And you've also been here and done uh, one of your Reliability Matters live, as yes. opposed to, I guess, you've been doing those virtually for a long time. Yeah, so. I'll tell you, I didn't realize how much I, more I would enjoy live interviews and because I've done this show for uh, two, two or three years now and you know we're coming up on a hundred episodes and all of them were you know looking into a teleprompter and, and a monitor and uh, camera and that was that that's very fulfilling I really enjoy it I enjoy talking to people I enjoy learning from them um, but I missed I didn't realize how much I miss a live format and yesterday and and today in just a little bit, I'll, you know, yesterday I did some interviews, uh, I think four interviews. Today I'm doing a couple. And it's just so nice to see your guests and, and see their reaction and, and um, engage with them. You know, it's, it's so human. <laughs> I've yeah. forgotten what that's like. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. And, and the way that you do it is actually, you know, it, it's, it's good for you. It's good for the guest. It, it's good for the audience. Right. And, you know, I, I, I sort of was, uh, you know, pe peeking over your shoulder a little bit at what you were doing yesterday. And, you know, you can actually see the, you know, you, you can see the enjoyment. You can see the knowledge flowing. It's, uh, you know, it, 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 it was a great idea when you started like two and a half years ago. And, you know, when, when you can come up with what's effectively one topic, reliability. But, you know, it covers everything that we do. I can talk about anything and still weave it into reliability. You know, uh, I can't think of one single company that's here at the show, lots of exhibitors here at the show, I can't think of one that does not have a um, contribution to reliability. Uh, or if their products fail, it affects reliability. I mean, it, that applies to everyone here. So yeah, it's a very broad subject. So I, I didn't pigeonhole myself. Uh, the only pigeonhole is we always talk about the electronic assembly industry. You know, that's just the industry I'm familiar with and I'm comfortable talking yeah. about. But after that, it's a wide open field, as you well know. Well, I have to, I have to say, as a as an avid viewer, thank you for doing them. Uh, thank you for sharing with us today, and uh, hope it goes really well with your next reliability matters, my friend. Well, thank, thank you. you so much, my friend. Right back at you, and I'm honored to be your guest on the Keith Bryant Show. So thanks for having me. And that's Keith Bryant signing out of the Keith Bryant Show for Apex, and hope that you all uh, keep safe and stay well, and uh, hopefully see you in person at the uh, next global exhibition somewhere around the world. Thank you. Thank you.